All right, we're uh, back for round one, game one on the draw. I guess we keep this. I mean, we have four lands and a two drop and a three drop and a five drop, which we can ramp into with Gyre Sage. Assuming it just doesn't die, which seems to happen every time I play this card. All right, here we go. Really white. All right, well, Simic Manipulator is definitely a good card. We need um, another blue to cast it, though. Okay, here come the Boros. Trying a forest was less good. All right, well, he's attacking in with this, so the question is, do I trade? I don't have much else going on. I mean, next turn I can block this with the Krasis, I suppose. Um, and if I let this live, I can theoretically power out a Mind Eye Drake on turn two or on turn four. So I'll take it once, but I'm not super happy to do so. Kind of violating my general rule of never taking a hit from Boros. Um, so let's see, he has two planes open. So I'm just going to go ahead and I guess it, no, I'm going to play this guy first to evolve and then attack. Yeah. And now we have our crisis wall for his Skyjack. Oh, he's playing uh, Orzhov. And I guess he missed a land drop. Okay. Um, that sucks. Well. We could ditch um, the Krasis here. Playing the, I think we might want to, you know, this is tough. Um, next turn, we might not be able to do anything, but at least we can block his dude. On the other hand, Gyre Sage lets us do something next turn. So I'm just going to sack the Krasis and take three, I guess. Kind of a bummer. I guess we do gain a lot of li life off the sack there, so. Um, taking the hit isn't that bad. He may not attack either if he doesn't want to take damage off our Gyre Sage, but we're going to be using it for mana, so... Okay, Sprite. So now we have a choice. We can play Mind Eye Drake or Snapjaw. Um, Mind Eye Drake does let us block this pretty well. Snapjaw would let us attack in for quite a bit, and we get to evolve the Snapjaw off of the Mind Eye Drake. So, yeah, we're at 18. I um, mean, he only has one thread on the board, and it looks like he might be a little mana screwed. So I'm just going to play out the Snapjaw here and pass the turn. Being limited on blue mana is a little bit unfortunate. And I guess if he has a removal spell for our Snapjaw, then I would prefer he remove that rather than the Mind Eye Drake. Could be Grizzly Spectacle here, that would be annoying. Yeah, Simic Manipulator, not at its best right now. Okay, well, um, that doesn't really matter given, um, well, I guess now it might, because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I guess. All right, I would prefer not to keep taking damage off of the Daring Skyjack, so I think we're just going to play the Mind Eye Drake. Uh, we're missing a counter off of our Simic Manipulator, but um, this uses our mana a little bit more effectively. Um, and we get to crash in for 7 here, which is significant. Yeah, now we have a pretty good blocker. I mean, he's splashing blue. Interesting. Gutter Skulk is not super relevant. Ooh, Simic Flux Mage, though. Could be nice. Um, so if I attack in with my Adaptive Snapjaw, 
Um, doesn't really do a whole lot because he can just block it with a Skyjack and then trade, which I don't really want. If I attack him with a Mind Eye Drake, then he can attack him with either of these, and that's not very good for me. So I'm just going to play the Simic Manipulator here and uh, switch to the long game. Yeah, it's power, which is kind of annoying given his creatures. But yeah, we really want counters to our guys that will evolve up our Simic Flux Mage and our um, Simic Manipulator so we can uh, start stealing his stuff, I think. Alright, he has an Extort. I don't think he has any good attacks yet, though. It's kind of annoying that we're getting Peck for one every turn. Um, so this isn't bad. Now we can cast out this. Level this up once. And we can cast up this and level these guys. So now we have a 2-3 here. So we can steal this, or next turn we can just steal his extort guy, which is Probably what we are, what we're gonna do. Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna pass. I think with my guys up. If he has a removal spell for a manipulator, we can just steal his gutter skulk, I suppose. Angelic Edict, yeah, alright, well, um, I will just take the Gutter Skulk. Um, okay. So we got a two for one, he removed our manipulator, but that's fine. Ooh, Scab Clan Charger is pretty sweet. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, because we have a counter on this, um, I am going to crash in um, with some dudes. Uh, definitely Adaptive Snapjaw. I think I'm going to leave Mind Eye Drake back to block, um, and then I'm going to attack in with a Gutter Skulk and the Greenside Watcher, since he doesn't really have any great blocks for that. If he single, okay, he's conceding. <laughs> um, he can't really single block because we can move a counter over. We don't even have to do that. We can uh, blood rush our guy or play it and get another counter out. Um, so that went uh, that went pretty well. He has a lot of uh, of removal spells though, so it might be worth running a naturalize or a spell rupture. Probably the spell rupture. Yeah, Naturalize is pretty annoying. Um, or, I mean, uh, 1,000 Lashes is pretty annoying. We didn't see any other enchantments out of him. I guess if we go to Game 3 and we've seen a uh, Gift of Orzova or Holy Mantle or something like that, maybe we could bring the Naturalize in. But as it stands, we might want to bring a Spell Rupture in, taking out something. Maybe a Sprite? I think Gridlock is still fine. Um, Sprite doesn't really evolve too much up in our deck. So I could see doing that, just so we can answer maybe one of his removal spells. Um, I guess Scatter Arc is a different type of thing we could put in. This would be more for the late game. Um, I think I like Spell Rupture more, though. So yeah, we're going to, I think, try this and go to game two.